doing well and staying safe, staying healthy, staying inside. Um, today we are going to do our advanced classical mat sequence, start to finish. Now, if ever there's something that's not in your body or isn't feeling right today, don't do it. Don't hurt yourself. Do the best that you can do. Modify where the ones need it. We are going to cut reps, so this video isn't an hour-long workout. Hopefully, we're sitting around the 30 minutes, but I haven't built it yet, so who knows? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start laying down for our footwork. So, have those legs bent in, heels together, toes apart in that body's V. Those hands are going to come behind your head. Reach those elbows apart, pull the shoulder blades down, and then we're going to begin. Inhaling to press on out, exhaling to come back on in. We're only going to do about four of each of these. Again, so that our video isn't an hour long. Nice, and then you're gonna come all the way back on in. You're gonna bring those legs together, curl those toes over top, curl those heels underneath, pressing on out. Exhale to come back on in, and then again, inhaling out. Exhale back in. And then coming back on in, flex those feet, so really pull those toes back, curl yourself back on up, inhale, pressing on out, exhale, come back on in, drive those heels away, lengthen through those hamstrings. If it feels too easy, go a little lower. I'm going a little higher so it's easier for me to speak. And then come back on in, lengthen those legs up towards the ceiling. You can either stay here or grab behind your thighs, and then you're going to point and flex through the ankles. Nice. From here, extend those arms long down by your side, and we're going to start a hundred straight away. So you can either stay here for a more modified hundred, or you can think about curling those hips on up for something a little lower in grabs. Or if you want something a little more difficult, go longer. I'm going to stay up here again. So I can keep talking to you guys. Inhale for those five counts. Exhale for those five counts. Keep everything nice and connected. Really looking for your core. Really squeezing those glutes in that inner thigh. And then come all the way back on in. Hug it in for a moment. Press your shins into your hands to roll yourself on up. You're going to flex your feet, legs are long on the mat, arms are going to come out out of your chest, and then we're going to start our roll down. So trying to keep those legs long, those heels reaching, you're going to curl yourself either all the way down or partially down, but stay in control of your body. Reach long, and then come all the way back on up, restacking your spine, have a forward bend, restacking, curling back, inhale through that first part, exhale through the sticky spot. And then again, inhaling to start, exhale through that hard part, have that forward bend, restacking one more time here, curling back. And curling all the way forward. Nice. So from here, we're going to do our rollover. So that's our first inversion. If inversions aren't for you, do a little hip lift, whatever's in your body. So hands are going to be down by your side. We're going into this. Nice and controlled, so press that mat away from you, lift your legs on up, keep on going. You're reaching those feet over top of you, you're not letting them collapse on your head. And then you're going to carefully bring those legs out to hip distance apart, flex your feet, curl all the way down your spine with control. You let those legs lower until you feel like your back's going to lift off, squeeze them together, point the toes, press through those arms, lift up and over. Again, lengthen through your spine. Don't squish yourself. Flexing those feet, curling down with control. And then we're going to reverse that. So point the toes down here, but keep them apart. Lifting all the way on up. They flex. They come together. Come down with control. And we're going to do that one more time. They come apart. Pointed. They flex. Together. All the way on down. When you when your hip bones touch, you're going to lower your left leg down, keep the right leg up, point through the toes, and we're going into our single leg circle. So lift through the hip, reach through that foot, circle it all the way down and around, 
Exhale to come on up. Really flexing through that bottom leg. Reach it long. I'm gonna do this last one here, pausing at the top and reverse, inhaling for that first half of the circle. Exhale to pull it back on up and in. One last one here. Nice, and then scissor the legs to switch. That right leg's gonna be down on the mat, nice and flexed. Top leg up, nice and pointed, slightly turned out, reaching across the body to start. Exhale, pull it back on in. Let the hip pick up and you twist your spine, but keep the shoulders down and the chest nice and open. Once you've done your third one here, we're gonna reverse. If you're feeling clunky through the hips, squeeze those glutes like crazy. Once you've done your third one, coming back on in. So lay yourself down nice and long. Harder transition into rolling like a ball, but it's more fun. You're gonna have those hands down by your side. Dodge your chin towards your chest, look towards those toes, reach everything on up. Pick yourself up into that rolling like a ball um, position. Curl those abs back like crazy. Take a great big inhale, and then we roll. Exhale to come back on up. And then again, inhaling back, exhaling back on up. Awesome, we're gonna do one more like this. And then we're gonna go towards um, our ab series. So you're gonna keep one leg hugged in, I'm keeping my right leg hugged in. Left leg's going along, sitting curled up here, and then we're switching, and switching. And lucky for you guys, it's going to be a quick ab series. So you're going to do this last one here. And then both legs come on in, both arms and legs reach away. Circle the arms, hug the legs back on in. And then again, inhaling out, exhale to come back in. If you want it harder, go lower. But keep that curl. Pick a spot on the wall. I'm gazing at my water bottle right now. <laughs> You're gonna do this last one here, come back on in. Legs extend up to 90, grab hold behind that right ankle or calf or thigh, whatever you can hold on to. Our legs extended down long, you kick up to switch for our scissors. Reaching long, have a little pull back on that leg, get that stretch through the hamstring. I got some hair bobbing in my eye. <laughs> and then that last one there, both legs come on up. Reach the hands behind the head, double leg, lower left. If this feels like too much for you, exhale to come back on up, bend the knees. <sighs> or if this still feels like too much, one leg at a time, do little toe tucks. Use that upper body to support your head and neck. Use those abs. Keep the low back pressing down. One last one. Bend the legs on in. You're in tabletop and we're going for our oblique twist. So twisting towards our right side. Extend the left leg. And then twisting to the left. Extending the right. Thinking about getting up nice and tall. Curling up and twisting. You're going to do one more on both sides. Nice. Come back on in. Press those shins into your hands. Sitting yourself all the way on up. And then we are going to do our um, spine stretch. So coming into a straddle, you don't have to turn around unless you can't see me. <laughs> Feet are going to be flexed up towards the ceiling. Arms are reaching up towards the sky. And then you're going to inhale, reach long through your spine as you go down. Sorry, exhale as you reach long as you go down. Inhaling all the way back on up to reset. Again, you're looking for that length through your spine. You're not just collapsing down over top of your legs. So like reach long, reach to the crown of your head. It's not about who can touch the floor first. Keep those toes pointed upwards. Coming all the way on up, you're gonna open the arms up wide to the outside. We are going to do this saw. So, reaching those fingertips away from each other, twist to one side, reach towards an angle, half a knee, reach up to that opposite arm, and then restacking, twisting the other way. Get that big twist. 
Nice. Awesome. We're going to do this one last set here. Using that exhale to twist and then coming back on up. Cool. So from here, we are going to go and do our um, swan and swan dives. So we'll lean down on our stomach. Hands are going to be down by our chest. And the legs traditionally would be together, unless that doesn't go right for your lower back, in which case leave them hip distance apart. You're going to press those hip bones down, reach through those toes, make sure your glutes and hamstrings are nice and active, and then you're pulling those shoulder blades back up. Use those hands to assist, not to do all the work. Exhale, come down with length. And then again, squeezing those legs, lifting yourself up nice and high, whatever feels right for you. That tells you how on now. And then we're going to take that and we are going to go into a full swan dive. So, swan dive for you could be catch and releases. So, it could be lifting up, let go, and press up. Totally cool. If not, you could be letting go arms out to the outside. That's a little easier for if you have shoulder mobility issues. If not, arms are going to be overhead. Fair warning, this is not my best move. It's extension. So, when you're ready, you're going to come on up. Think about what option you're going to do. You're going to inhale, very big, tall. Exhale, release, lift. And then you're thinking about lifting the arms, and then lifting the legs. And then carefully place those hands down. You're going to sit yourself back. Have a good child's pose here. Whew. I thought I'd work on those. I always want to get my arms up a little higher and my chest up a little higher. One day. So, we're going to lay back down. Reach those arms out. Grab, hold, or make fists. And then you're going to pull those elbows back on in until they're underneath your shoulders. Rolling those shoulder blades back. Lift those legs up as high as you possibly can. And then you're kicking one leg in and switch. For one, two, switch. You should be really pressing those hip bones down, keeping those abs engaged to support your spine here. Awesome. Last one there. And then coming back on down, you're going to glue those legs together. Place your cheek down on the mat. Reach those hands behind you. One's going to be on top of the other. You're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, keep your feet to your seat three times. Inhale, reach long with arms and legs, switch your cheek, place yourself down. Exhale, one, two, three, inhale up. One, two, three, inhale up and switch. Exhale, one, two, three, inhale up and switch. One more time, two, three, up and switch. One, two, three, inhale up and switch. And back down, nice. So, from here, we are going to do a neck pull. Neck pull will be small because we don't have a strap today. Neck pull is just like our roll down. Feet are flat, but now they're hip distance apart. Your hands are going to come behind your head. And you're thinking as tall and as long of a curl as you possibly can. So, because of that, it's going to be a small movement. You're going to curl back until you feel like those legs are going to come off. And then you're going to exhale, come forward, forward bend, forward bend, restacking. And then inhale on the way, exhale, restacking. Again, it's not how low you can go, it's how long you can make your spine. Reaching long. Got the shakes coming all the way and up and over. Nice. So from here we're going to do our shoulder bridge. So laying on down, feet are hip distance apart, arms are down on the mat. Roll those shoulder blades back, and then when you're ready, you're going to curl that tailbone up, lifting those hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you come all the way back on down, and then again, inhaling as you come on up. Exhale as you come back down. 
And now from here, we're going to add in our single leg kick. So you're going to lift your hips up towards the ceiling, press those shoulder blades down, kick one leg out, lift and lower, pointing up, flexing down. One last time, coming down, bring the leg back on in, stay up, switch legs, pointing up, exhale, flex down. Nice, this last one here. Bending back on in, curling down your spine. And then we're gonna go into our scissors and our bicycle. So, what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to either kick up into our jackknife and bring our hands underneath our hips, or more modified version, you could lift your hips on up, bring your hands underneath, and then bring one leg up, and then the other, flipping your palms. So, one up here to do scissors. You're trying to set as much weight into your hands as possible. I know it's scary, but they are strong. And then you're reaching long with the back leg. The other leg is just there to counterbalance. So don't really think about pulling the leg over top of your face. It'll just naturally want to come that way in order to stop you from falling over. And then we're going to change that into a bicycle. Goal of the bicycle. Touch your toe to the mat. Reach long. There it is. <laughs> I'm getting quiet because I'm so focused. <laughs> so then we're going to step our feet down. Let those hands release. Curl all the way down your spine. Awesome. <laughs> So, from here, we are going to do our full jackknife. So those hands are going to come down by our side, legs are going to squeeze together. If jackknife doesn't work for you again, do a little hip lifts. When you're ready, you're going to do this, lifting your legs up, and then that could be your jackknife for today. And then you're going to inhale as you send the legs long. If not, you're going all the way on up, press through those arms, lifting up nice and tall. Don't let your legs collapse over top of you. You're sending them away as you go down. <sighs> Inhaling, sending those legs away. Exhale, lift yourself on up. You're growing tall. Inhaling to lengthen and lower. <sighs> if you are feeling like you're coming up by throwing your legs over top of your head, you should probably stick with the hip lifts. So if you're feeling like your feet and your knees are gonna bunk in the nose, try to come here and see how long and how far away you can keep your feet away from you. Okay? Awesome, and then we're gonna lay down on our side and we're gonna get ready for our side kick series. Whew, I'm getting warm. So laying them down, one hand is gonna be underneath your head, unless that doesn't work well for you, in which case be down on that bicep, find a comfortable position. Your legs are going to be towards the front edge of your mat, so you've got a little bend at the hips here. Top hand can either be down on the mat, or for an extra challenge, it can be behind your head. You're going to lift that top leg on up to hip height. One more like here. And then we're going to flex it to kick forward, point to go back. There you go. Flexing forward, pointing back. We're just going to do two more. Nice. Bring the leg over top the other leg. Externally rotate it. So heels more inwards, toes are more outwards. Inhaling up, exhale back on down. Pointing up, flexing down. One last one here, up and down. And then we're gonna do those double pace. So draw the toe up the inside of your leg, point the leg up towards the ceiling, flex the foot as you come back on down. Inhaling to point up, flexing back down. Last one like this. When you bring that leg down, you're gonna kick it straight back on up again. Point the toe, bend the knee, draw it down the inside of your leg. Inhaling, flexing up, point, and bend. Flexing up, point, and bend. Going all the way on down. You're gonna bring that hand down onto the mat now for a run de jaunt. Bring that leg up to hip height. You're gonna kick the leg forward, pick it up nice and high, send it all the way to the back. Make those circles as big as you can. We're only gonna do three. 
Last one here. Nice, and then we gotta reverse it for three. Coming all the way on back, picking it up nice and high, all the way to the front. <sighs> Inhale for that first half of the circle, exhale for the second half. Once you've done your third one here, we're gonna come back on down. You're gonna lift that leg up to hip height. We're gonna zip the bottom one up to it, then back on down, and then zipping up, then back on down. One more time, they zip up, they're gonna stay together, lower down together, pick up together, and lower and lift. And then lower everything down, press that bottom arm down into the mat, glue your ear to your bicep, and then we're lifting everything up three times. Inhaling up, exhale back down. Use this top arm, inhaling up, exhale back down one more time. <sighs> nice. And then we're gonna lay down onto our stomach. Put a little pillow for your forehead with your hands, just stacking one on top of the other. And then we're gonna lift those legs up as high as you can. Little heel clicks. Happy little thoughts. Keep those legs going. And then relaxing all the way on down. We're going to flip over into our other side. So, hand is underneath your head, or you're on that bicep. Legs are out in front of you, just that little bit. Your other hand is either behind your head or down into the mat for something a little more stable. Okay, flex the foot. Kicking forward, point to the back. It's up at hip height. Try to keep it that way. I have a tendency to wobble a little bit at the back. So I know I'm gonna have fun when I look at this footage. I get to see all my wobbles and my wiggles. This is all good feedback. Last one here. All the way to the back, bring the leg over top the other leg. Externally rotate it, pointing up, flexing down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One last one. All the way on down. Point through the toe, draw the toe up the inside of your leg. Point the leg up towards the ceiling, flex it back down. Inhaling to point up, exhale, flex down. One more time. And then we reverse it, flex the foot up, point, then slide the foot down, flexing up. Nice. All the way on down, you're gonna bring the top hand down, three rung jumps, both directions. Here we go. Inhale, kick forward, all the way on up, exhaling to that second half. Once you've done it, your third one here, we are going to reverse, kicking to the back, picking it up nice and high. <sighs> Inhale for that first half. Exhale to bring it home. Last one. Nice. You bring that leg back up to hip height, flex through that foot, zip the bottom one up to it. Back on down, flexing it up. They're gonna come together, stay together, lower down together, lift up together, and lower, and lift. One more time, and lifting, and then everything lowers down. Glue the head to your hand, you're picking everything up. Exhaling down. Last one, all the way on down, nice. So, everyone's favorite time, it's teasers. So we're gonna lay down on our back to start, unless that's not in your body, in which case, Start up here, start sitting, tip yourself back on your teaser. If not, lay it down. And remember that transition where we're going from laying down to rolling like a ball? Super similar to your teaser. So we already kind of did half of the teaser. We just ended up in a ball form. So reaching through those fingers. You're gonna look towards those toes. You're gonna lift everything on up, except it's gonna stay straight. See, no ball. Just teasers, and then you're gonna lower everything back on down with control. The next one, we're gonna do upper body lower lifts. So when you're ready, lifting everything on up, you're gonna lower yourself down a little bit, and then you're gonna pick it right back on up again. Lowering down, lifting up, reach for those toes, lower it down. Last one, everything lowers down together. And then we're gonna do leg lower lifts. So you're gonna lift everything back on up, lowering those legs down. Exhale, pull them back on up. Inhaling down. 
We got one last one. And then curl everything down with control. One last teaser, and it's for our transition into our hip circles, so I hope you're ready for that. We're gonna lift everything on up into our teaser, swim those arms back behind us, they're either staying straight, or you're coming onto your elbow. Straight is the more classical advanced version. We're just doing two. So circle down and around, exhale, come back on up. Keep those legs together, the hips pick up and move. That's one. Inhaling down and around, exhale and up. All the way back home. Then on it. Awesome, we're gonna lay down on our stomach for swimming. My least favorite move, or not least favorite, it's the hardest for me. So, laying down on our stomach, modified version. Picking one arm and the opposite leg up at a time and just alternating there. If not, we're lifting everything on up. So, lifting that chest on up, lifting the legs up, lifting the arms up, and then we switch. And we're breathing, and we're thinking happy thoughts. Like, oh, thank God those hip circles were over. We're gonna do two more big breaths here. And relaxing on down, press yourself back into a child's pose. Beautiful. So, from here, we are going to go into our leg pull front, or leg pull and leg pull front. So, we're gonna lift up into our plank, or move our hands forward into our plank. When you're ready, press through those feet, lifting yourself on up. From here, you're gonna lift one leg up, if that's okay for you. Flex through the foot, reach back through that heel, come forward, place the foot down, switch legs. Heel goes back, come forward, place the foot down. Up, back, forward, down. One more time, up, back, forward, down. Nice. Hard transition to get to that back support. Bring your hands over towards the other one. Lift yourself over onto your side plank. You're a star. And then you're going to keep going. Try not to let those hips touch. Your fingers are going to be pointed towards your heels. If not, flip yourself over. Push yourself up like this. And then you can either hold it here or we're going to do those four or those three on each leg lifts. Lifting up. Back on down. Flexing through the foot. Pressing that heel in. If this doesn't feel right for you, don't do it. Last one. Ah, sit those hips down. That never gets easier. Have that great forward bend here. Okay. Okay, so now we have our side kick kneeling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands behind our head. We're up on our knees here. Feet are nice and flat. You're going to inhale as you side bend over, extending one arm down. It's about a 45 degree angle away. Extend the other leg out. I like my hand coming onto my hip, or it can stay behind your head, which is more classical. I just like keeping an eye on what my hip's doing because, you know what, they like to wiggle. You're gonna lift the top leg up, and we're just doing those forward and back side kicks again. So, flexing the foot, kick forward, point the toe, go back. It's not a huge movement because you're trying to keep your hips in the exact same spot of air. So don't let the hips scooch back towards the foot to bring the leg forward. You're gonna do one last one here. Coming all the way up, bend the leg, hand comes back on your head, side bend all the way and up, and then over to the other side, extending that leg long, pressing that hand down into the mat, you lift it up, flex forward, point back. Hey, okay, try to keep that leg as high as you can. As you can tell, this is a harder leg. Last one. Coming on up, bend the legs, coming all the way on up. Then we got mermaid. So, if you are not a fan of weight bearing on your hands, I would recommend doing this on your elbow, especially because we got another one after this. If not, classically, you are on your hand, 
Your top leg or your top foot is going to be forward. Your bottom foot is going to be slightly back. Soft bend in the knees here. And you're going to take a great big inhale to prepare. On your exhale, you're going to press yourself up into a beautiful side plank. So when you're ready, inhaling up. Exhale, pressing up. And then you're going to inhale. You're going to lower those hips down a little bit. Look towards that beautiful hand. And watch it as it gracefully reaches up and over as you exhale. And then again, inhaling. Looking at that beautiful hand. Exhale. Watch it as it goes over. One last one. Inhaling. You're going to lower yourself down, and then we're just going to do the other side. Just three nice big side bends. So top leg is in front, or top foot's in front, bottom leg's behind, that hands out, again, that 45-ish degree angle. Really reaching through that shoulder. When you're ready, you're going to take a great big inhale, exhale, press on up. Inhale, lowering those hips, looking at your hand, exhale, up and over. Inhaling, lower, and look, exhaling, up and over. Last one. Nice, coming all the way on down. And then we've got twist one and twist two. So twist one, you can't really do on your forearm. It's a little too twisty, but you can get pretty light on your hand in reality. So it just requires a lot of legs. So you're gonna have Let's have our right leg bent in nice and close. Our left foot is going to be right at the ankle, and it's like you're trying to make a bit of a T. You're going to keep that T. What's going to happen is you're going to press through your hand. This top arm is going to thread through. Try and straighten those legs a little, and then you're going to lower yourself back on down. So this foot never moves. It's going to want to. So when you're ready, reaching up, pressing through those legs, Lifting through those arms and lowering. If this ever doesn't feel right for you, don't do it. Got one more. We're gonna lift up, twist, and lower. Nice. And then we're gonna do the other side. So left leg's in, right foot is in that kind of T position. Your hand is out, other arm is out, palm facing up. You're gonna lift it up. You're going to press through those legs like crazy. You're going to spread through. I feel moved a little. Tut, tut. That's what I said not to do. You're going to inhale on up. Big twist. You want one last one. Nice. Coming all the way on down. Twist two. It's more of a side plank again. So again, if you want to be on your elbow, you can be. More classical and more traditional will be up on your hand. So that's how I'm going to demo it. Everything else will be exactly the same. So top legs forward again, bottom foot's back. If you want to torture yourself, you can do feet stacked. It's not for me today. <laughs> You're going to inhale, press on up into your side plank. You're going to reach that arm up towards the ceiling. Keep the hips stacked. Twist through your spine to make it look behind you. You're spread that arm through. Come back on up. Open your chest up towards the ceiling a little. Come back long. Arm over your head, twisting through the shoulders and the upper back again. Come all the way on up. Twist, open the spine. Come square and all the way back on down. And then we're just gonna do the other side. There's one rep. Because you know what? It's a lot. So. Top foot forward, bottom foot back on that hand. When you're ready, great big inhale. Exhale, press yourself on up. Arms up towards the ceiling. You're going to thread it down and through. Exhale, come back on up and open. And then you're going to bring that arm up, up by your ear. Inhale and twist down. Exhale and open up. Come back to center. Lower yourself down. And now here's the real fun part. Boomerang. I love boomerang. It's like all the good things. So boomerang has a lot going on if you haven't ever done boomerang. But we're going to start. It's got like an inversion. It's got teaser. It's got, well, it's got kind of crab in it. And it's got row 
one. So we're gonna start legs together. I'm gonna try and do the first one as slow as I can, but as some of you may know, we work as hard to do kind of slow. Hands are gonna be down by your side. We're gonna press through those hands, reach through those feet. You're gonna come on up into your inversion. A hip lift counts. It's totally cool. You're gonna lower yourself down. You're gonna keep your head lifted up though. You're gonna try and pause in your teaser. You're gonna swim the arms back. Try to keep the legs as high as you possibly can. Swim them all the way up and over. Legs lower and then you re-stack. If you wanna do the fullest class, classical version, that would be a little ankle cross, but this is a perfect place to start if you don't want to go through all the extra choreography. But from now on, I'm gonna cue it. So, hands are gonna be down by your side. You're curling yourself on back, lifting up. You'd switch foot ankles in front here. Curling yourself down, teaser up. Row those arms back. Circle them all the way up towards the ceiling. Reach for those toes. Bring the hands back down by your side. And then we're going again. It's a little faster this time. So curling on and back. Lifting up. And cross, cross the other way. Teaser up. And then rowing. So come forward. Hands come back. One last one. Coming back up. Switch. Curling down. Coming up into your teaser. Rowing arms. Coming all the way on up. Oh, it gives me the good old balls. So, we're going to do our seal. So if you haven't done seal before, you're gonna have your legs bent, feet towards each other. You're gonna grab your ankles underneath. So we're kind of in this position. Seal, we're gonna clap our legs together. So, bringing everything on in, you're holding on to those feet. You could add in a couple claps here. It's just like you're rolling like a ball. Curl those abs back. You're curling yourself on back. Try to clap, clap, clap. Curl yourself forward. Clap, clap, clap. You're trying to basically have that control to stop in the air, which is really important for crab in a second. And crab is a weird move, I will say. You either like it or you don't. So you're gonna come back on up. So crab, the reason why a lot of people don't like it is because it's a weird position on your knees and a part of it, and because you actually do put your head down into the mat, which is gonna be funny with my butt. So what's gonna happen, if you're game to try it, is you're gonna cross your ankles and you're gonna hold on, like you've got your crab pincers, onto your feet. And then we're gonna curl back, but when we curl forward, we're gonna come up onto our knees and even put our head down onto the mat. So there's a lot going on that I will, I will demonstrate. So we're gonna curl on back, you pause, you switch foot, foot's in front, keep pulling on those legs, you're gonna come up, and you're gonna come over, bring those feet towards your seat. And then you're gonna come up, roll back, switch legs, come all the way up, and over onto your head. If that doesn't feel right for your knees, or for your neck, or if you're worried at all, don't do it, by all means. Do the fun rolling part and leave that alone. But for now, grab and hold those pins over the feet. You're gonna come back, switch, coming all the way up, and forward, pulling in. You shouldn't feel lots of pressure on your head because your abs should be nice and engaged and pulling up. You're gonna do this last one here. And coming all the way on up. Okay. So from here, we're gonna do rocking. Again, rocking is one of those ones. If you are not big on extension, if you've got knee things going on, if you've got back things going on, leave it at a modification, see where you go. Maybe you surprise yourself and go further today, and maybe you know what, today you leave it out. So, we're gonna reach back. We're on our stomach, press your hip bones in, grabbing one uh, shoelace part of your foot. Have a nice quad stretch here. See what it feels like. Maybe it doesn't feel nice on your knees. And then think about pressing your foot into your hand to lift your chest. And back on down, release switching legs. So grab your mat, have a nice quad stretch here, have a stretch, have a few breaths. And then you're gonna press back, lifting up, coming back on down, release. If that felt okay, we're gonna grab hold of both feet. So we're gonna grab hold, 
have that nice stretch again, pressing those hip bones down. And then if that feels okay, you're gonna press your feet into your hands to lift yourself on up. And then release. If you wanna get into rocking, it is an inhaling to press your feet into your hands. You're exhaling to lift your knees into your hands. So what I mean is inhale to press your feet back, exhale to lift your knees up. Inhale and back, exhaling up. And then you're gonna carefully release. We're gonna roll over onto our back for our final move which is control balance, which if you go onto my website or my Instagram, you will see a lot of control balance. I love it. I think it's so beautiful and it's such a cool way to end. So we are again doing another immersion. Final move is an immersion. Hands are going to be down by your side. Roll the shoulder blades back. You're going to lift those legs on up. From here, try to find as much control as you can you're going to circle the arms all the way up over your head. And then you're going to think about lowering one leg down. Maybe you grab a hold of it. Maybe you give it a little pull. Release. Bring it all the way back up to meet the other leg. And then you can switch. Go slow. Go controlled. Traditionally, we would inhale to pull the leg down, exhale to press it back on up. But if you're taking a little more time, I would rather you breathe easy than hold your breath. We're gonna do one last one. Really reach and squeeze those glutes. It's okay if you roll around by now. And then we're gonna come all the way down with control. Hug those legs in, give your back a little bit of a rock, and roll. You deserve it. And then you're going to carefully press those shins into your hands, come on up to sitting. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Oh, it felt so good to do all of my traditional stuff again. It's been a little while. And then, yeah, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you did. Tell me if there's any of these moves that you want to learn a little more about or troubleshoot. I am all ears and I absolutely love it when I hear from you guys. So without further ado, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside. All my good stuff. Sending lots of love and healthy vibes out to all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.